full day of eating with a little bit of training involved as well, I'll show you how we train, if it differs from what we do during an off season or whatever you want to call it these days. So this morning I've decided I'm going to have a bacon and cheese sandwich because I want one. calorie than anticipated because I started making the bacon and realized I ran out of bagel thins so I had to have a wrap. So that means that this breakfast is coming in at 388 calories so I've got 150 grams of bacon medallions, I've got one tortilla wrap and 30 grams of Eat Lean spreadable cheese and then I've got my usual supplements, cheeky espresso and then a vitamin C and zinc. So I'm going to chow down on this now and then we'll see what Mike's made. Welcome to the second full day of eating. Dan may have already said that, but I'm more important, aren't I? Slightly different meals, I reckon, this time. Throw that over there. I don't like it being on the floor. I'm just gonna put it on a chair. I'm back. God, that was bugging me. Again on 1800 calories. Next week, we're gonna be showing you a refeed day because it's gonna be our first sort of refeed that we take during this diet, which means more carbs, so more fun. Food selections in this one are gonna be slightly different though because obviously it's gonna be fucking pointless if we just show you the same shit as before. So what am I having for breakfast? Who am I asking? I already know the answer, so why am I asking the fucking question? I'm gonna have an egg white omelette. I'm gonna put some pastrami in it. I'm gonna put some mushrooms in it, some onions. I'm gonna put some Eat Lean cheese in it. And I'm also gonna put some veg in the Actifry. But per 100 gram, there's only 1.3 grams of fat in it. And 36 grams of protein. That's a fucking excellent lean protein source. Like, really, really good. <laughs> So breakfast, got an egg white omelette with um, some pastrami in it, some onions, some mushrooms and some spinach. We've got some broccoli cooked with some Eat Lean cheese and some salt in the Actifry on top of a bed of salad. There's also a couple of gherkins in there. Pickled gherkins, very, very good on calories. I've obviously got my coffee, which hopefully Dan kept in. He always tends to cut all my bits out. I wonder why that is. It just leaves the bits in of me looking stupid. Still Vimto in here. This is a conscious effort to start to increase water. So, so I'm gonna eat this. Wait for Dan, I reckon. That breakfast was fuck all calories. So when I put it in my fitness pal, I realized that I probably needed to have a little bit more because my protein was low. So now I've got 200 grams of ski yogurt, some mixed berries, um, like 10 grams of um, blueberry wheat on that. So all in all, for the egg white omelette and this, so fucking pretty decent sized meal, 297 calories, 46 grams of protein, but that's pretty decent, like 300 calories um, for two decent sized portion breakfast because I'm um, a pig. Also, I found somebody, Dan. Boo! Daniel. That's not what you want to see first thing in the morning, is it? Fucking no chance. That is not what you want to see. How are you? I'm not too bad. I had my bacon sandwich. I watched our Truth or Shock Challenge or something. Good, innit? You need to watch it if you've not seen it. Card up there. Card, yeah. Nice one. Just up there. All right, that'll do, won't it? That'll yeah. do. Yeah, I'll man. See you later. This couldn't be. Uh, it could. It couldn't be. It could. Couldn't be merch. Could it, it could. It could be. It absolutely could be. I've got one Sexy. for you, look, because your colour's blue on our little logo, isn't it? Small boys. Please. Small boys, that, that one. is. And one for me, because my colour's yellow. <laughs> no, yellow! Yeah, because look. look, blue, yellow, look, do you get it? Oh, wow. Three, two, one. Oh, wrong one. 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 <laughs> That's better. Much better. Fits loads better, that. That's kids medium. Yeah, kids medium, mate. But got, it makes, gone, my, makes I, my, my chesticles look bigger. I've gone for the extra large. I'm probably going to need a large when yeah. I've dieted. So, um, yeah, we'll go for the... Uh, hoodie then, the hoodies, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Quite like this. I mean, the blue and the yellow isn't perfect, but you're never going to get the it. The yellow's perfect. not bad, The though. yellow is pretty good, yeah. The yellow's not bad. These do the blue needs to be a little bit lighter, but... These do fit nicely, actually, I They do. Say. I like them. I'm quite impressed. I mean... They're never going to be taking off my fucking back now for these videos. No, so. well they can't be. We have to order more than one, I think. Coffee. Look at that. 
Every time you're having your coffee. So one side, that's us, obviously. The other side, oh, comical caption. Comic, oh, it's always gonna be, on it? Let's hope that focus. Bulletproof coffee, because I want slower fat loss and worse tasting coffee. Another caption for this, might I add, an, an option could be, yes, there's sweeteners in here, I better start my chemo. But other things, have a look, what's your favorite sayings that we've come out with? There might yeah. not be any, so what? do you want to see on it? So comment below, and if you like somebody else's comment, don't be a bastard, just like it. Yeah. Then it shows us what other people it's like, like a as well. It's almost like a poll. Yeah, you love the poll. I love a big poll. But an actual poll, P-O-L-L. P -O -L -L. Yeah, that kind of poll. That kind of poll. And then we'd get a good idea of sort of what you want to see printed on them, and we can stick them in the shop. Incline chest press with your spotter on the phone watching. Look at the traffic warden Mike. Be safe, be seen, mate. <laughs> Pay no attention. High visibility clothing. <laughs> Always make sure your spotter's watching what you're doing, guys. You know. I'm yeah, I'm fine, mate. Thanks. Yeah, it's good. Don't worry, I got them. Well, you were only using the fucking lightweight. Yeah, Let's see if Dan spots any better then. Oh, just. I don't need to, mate. Not paying attention. Yeah, but I don't need to, mate, because they're less than half your body weight. They're flying up, mate. The they, 54s. They, sh they should be, mate. Not paying attention. Oh, there's his phone. Yeah. Brilliant. I could have crumbled underneath that. Probably would. That's a face and a half. <laughs> face and half. So we usually do a compound move with uh, an isolation uh, with it for slightly higher reps. As compounds are what? At eights at the minute? Yeah, we're at eights and then these were tens, I think. We did. Yeah. Um, on this upper day, especially, we try and keep to eights for most of the compound movements. Um, there's a sex face. Boom. There you go. Um, but Mike's pretty strong on this. So, I, And also with this, the seat is so low, I have to stand up and just push myself into it because I can't be asked to change it. Oh, laziness. Just lazy in it, to be fair. Yeah. You have a girt me otherwise. Tops um, off. Black pull down. Notice no fucking massive swinging around because that's how it's done properly. Yeah. You'll notice that, uh, Dan um, retracting his scaps and uh, depressing his shoulders. You'll notice Mike picking a spot. Picking a spot. Good work, mate. See, so because I've got muscles, you'll be able to see my back working there, look. So yeah. rather than swinging around, it's a, it's a real focus on driving the elbows down and backwards. This is really poor range from you, Dan. I'm disappointed. It is, it is to be fair. I, that, I did think that when I look back over the video, there's a couple of exercises that I will do differently next time. So this one looks a bit odd. The shoulder angle looks a bit odd. It does, doesn't it? It almost looks like it's like too far. And I think in front that's of you. why. I think that's why the range isn't great. I don't go that range, is because even when you when you do that's it, that's a range, mate. But you see how you're using your chest. You've got a little bit more arch in your back because you have to at that angle. The way the angles of the arms are, yeah. it's not quite right. I need to double check it. I think we're on eights on this as well, being the compound uh, for shoulders. They're fake plates as well. They are. They're massive, so aren't they? Yeah. And then we move on to the isolation. I prefer the machine laterals. Mike doesn't like this one, he does dumbbells. But I can use the machine. But again, when I looked at this, the range on this isn't as good as it should be. Yeah. But it's only from videoing it that I was actually like, no, next time I go in there, I'm going to make sure I, I think, do it properly. I think we were doing between 12 to 15 reps on this. And I think it uh, was with a drop set on the end. Um, so again, usually starting with a heavy um, compound and then moving on to an isolation. And this is our upper body day. This isn't uh, like a push specific day. Obviously, we've got a back exercise in there. We're so about to, get, to do some arms. Yeah, to get a bit more volume in, just to throw some drop sets in on the isolation. So I think on the flies, we sometimes do one. And on yeah. these, we definitely do a couple. Um, and even on the arms, I think we did a bit at the end as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they just, we just throw the arms on. Just, I think it's three sets of each. Um, yeah, it's just it's just extra volume across the week because we obviously get gonna get some volume in with us back exercises and with us chest and shoulder exercises for triceps, as well as having their own that, sort of. Is that synthol, mate? You look quite good there. Do I? Mm. Thank you, mate. I'll take that as a compliment. Those arms look alright. They do, don't they? To be fair. Mine look shocking. So. I haven't got much to go in this diet. No. Although after this weekend, I further than I was. <laughs> Coming, that's coming on the next video. <laughs> should I? I can't. No. I <laughs> that won't go down well. That will not go down very well. So. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, how long are we going to... Oh, there we go. And again, I noticed on this that I'm not going to use this bar anymore because when I was doing this, the bar, it felt like I was going full range. But you can see 
not quite going to that end range. If I was to use a rope, I could probably get a bit further with it. What Dan means by end range there is you'll notice that his triceps didn't go fully shortened. So he was stopping like a little bit with a little bit of flexion at the elbow. I mean, these are textbooks, so these are fine. But yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, so we, quite, we quite like the cables for biceps as well because it, it's constant tension even at the top of the movement. Right, mate. Well, I've got a ready meal. And I. I'm just gonna have some cooked chicken salad, I reckon. Get your stuff out then. Yeah. Mexican chicken. So I've got uh, this chicken carbonara ready meal from Asda. 328 calories, 31 grams of protein, two pound that was, two fucking pound. All right, come on. Eating healthy, on the go, it's not difficult. You just have to find the right things. Most supermarkets now have this like healthy calorie counting range with a bit more protein in. Yes, it's not gonna taste like normal full fat chicken carbonara. Of course it's not. What the hell's that? Fucking horse, mate. Fucking hell. We've been doing it so long, we've gone back in time. <laughs> can of cancer? Can of cancer. Oh, gherkins. Correct. They are great dieting food. Great dieting food, gherkins, pickled. Also, sauces, talking of sauces. Go a little bit closer. Yeah, there we are. This is lighter than light mayo. So you might be buying a light mayonnaise and thinking it's decent, but in a tablespoon of light mayonnaise, there's still 40 odd calories. Mm -hmm. There's only 11 in this. <laughs> time in it. We already know that these aren't my forte, let's be honest. Quite frankly, last week was laughable. I lost my rag, so I'm actually dreading sitting down to eat my tea. Tonight, I'm gonna have something slightly different. I'm gonna have some pizzas, and they're gonna be made using low dough. 39 calories in a pizza base. Now, if I do this without setting the fire alarm off, that's gonna be a miracle. I've only achieved that once thus far. <laughs> macros for this are going to be on the screen. My head's not in. Fucking hell. So let me start again. Dan's definitely going to keep that in again. I've got a bowl of cauliflower and broccoli and onions and mushrooms and courgette. I fried it in soy sauce and garlic and then I've put some eat lean cheese on it and microwave that. Makes your veg very very nice. And then I've got salad with a few gherkins on there and some butternut squash waffles. And then I've obviously got my pizzas in here, look. Two of, Lodo bases, eat lean cheese, some pastrami, mushrooms, onions, some herbs, and some spinach. And I'm gonna go and eat this now. It's dinner time, innit? 968 calories left today. Huh? How many calories have you got left? Four. Four? Yeah. You're gonna have a lot with four. Yeah. I've got leftover mints and I'm gonna have active fried vegetables with it. Uh, probably courgette and mushrooms. Why? Because that's what I want. I need lots of veg. And, and onions. You're gonna have chicken nuggets and peas, are you? Yes. Okay. Mints with the uh, older pasta Mexican spices on with courgette, and mushrooms, and a can of Diet Coke, probably. So you want chicken nuggets, peas? I also want the camera. Playing up for the camera or what? Whatever. <laughs> You are so cute. Isabel, it's dinner time. You don't watch that, do you? Watching YouTube, are you? Mince, veg, comes to about 350 calories, and a can of cloudy lemonade from Waitrose. Very, very good. I highly recommend that. You're definitely gonna keep those fucking failed attempts in as well, aren't you? Fucking hell, it's well zoomed in. I can't even rant right anymore. And the lighting's dreadful. If you're gonna get the rant in, get it in over where the light's all right. Oh, I've fucking fucked it, haven't I? So what do we have here? We've got 200 grams of ski yogurt, half a raspberry and cranberry 10 calorie jelly, some frozen berries, 10 grams of blueberry wheats, and some stevia sprinkled on top. So yeah, got another one of these tonight. A tub of Breyers, 
which is that halo top, maybe another smoothie bowl, similar to what you saw earlier. Pretty fucking easy, um, lots of food in the evening, that's the way that I tend to do it, um, because I just find that in front of the telly, I'm gonna want something extra to eat, um, rather than during the day when I'm busy, looking after that fucking idiot, Dan. I don't really need to eat that much because I've got my hand full. Not of his penis, that's not a handful. Unless you're Jeremy Beadle. And then even then, struggling. I'm a bell end. I'm having a mare. This is professional YouTube. Another meal of Greek yogurt. I mean, you've seen it all before. Having the same meals over and over that are quick, easy, cost effective, you know what you're having, you know the measurements, you know it fits your macros. There's nothing wrong with that. Although we don't do meal plans, I essentially do have a meal plan. A couple of meals tend to swap out, but I always have like my mainstay. So I tend to have egg whites a fair amount. I tend to have some kind of lean fish. I tend to have some chicken. I swap out my evening meal. It might be like a chili, fajitas, pizzas that you've seen, turkey burgers, steak, something like that. I tend to mix my evening meal. Right, podcast done. Last meal of the day is whey protein shake and 65 grams of curiously cinnamon with the milk in now. So I'm gonna be talking quickly because I don't want this to go soggy. Hope you enjoyed that video. I think I've still got like 100 calories left for the day. I'll add it all up anyway and they're gonna be around here somewhere. So yeah, final totals are there and there. Leave a comment down below with any suggestions you've got for future, you know, full day of eatings or training tips you want to see or anything else of our daily lives when we're dieting that you want to see. Drop that comment below. Last meal before bed. It's not more Greek yogurt. This is a protein smoothie bowl topped with a little bit of cereal. There's barely fuck all in this. Hopefully this day of eating again has highlighted more meals that you can have myself and Dam to go along with the, the last one that we did. You can take some ideas and it makes it easier. I've eaten pizza, ice cream. Yeah, not full fat pizza. Yeah, not full fat ice cream, but still 1800 calories, losing weight, getting leaner, dieting. It's just those little treats, I suppose, that make dieting just slightly more bearable, I suppose. Of course I'm hungry. Of course I wish it was a real Domino's. It is what it is. And it's an end to a means. <laughs> means to an end. If it means that I'm gonna get into photo shoot shape, which it will do, then I'm happy doing that because it's not the fucking hardest thing in the world. Um, we could be fucking starving to death. And I'm realistically giving up food and giving up real pizza and having a fake pizza or a lower calorie pizza. It's not the it's not the hardest thing in the world. It's not the biggest chore. It's actually quite a luxury. When people struggle for food in the world, I don't think the third world would believe that we actually have to give up food, that we're actually getting fatter. I don't reckon that they would understand that concept, that we actually turn away food, throw it in the bin, give it up for vanity. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Please like, share and subscribe as always. Look out for the next one. Next one promises to be a little bit more entertaining. Not that these fucking aren't, are they? They're class, because it's gonna be a refeed day. Um, which means all the crumpets, all the bagels, all the fucking cereal. Get him. Cheers, guys. See you soon.